Later this evening on PBS, a special honoring Gloria and Emilio Estefan for winning the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for songwriting. Amna Nawaz is back with a conversation with that talented couple. That beat. It is instantly recognizable. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. I know you can't control yourself any longer. One, two, three, four. Sounds from the 1980s that dominated radio and MTV. Making Gloria Estefan and her band, the Miami Sound Machine, including her husband Emilio Estefan, one of the most popular musical acts of the time. Breaking through from the Spanish language genre to number one hits on the Billboard pop chart. No way. Last month, the Library of Congress honored the couple with the Gershwin Prize for Popular Song. The next day, we sat down with the Estefans to learn more about their music, their journey, and their relationship. How does this work? I think it's love, love yeah. and respect. A lot of respect. Love is the, the, absolutely the main thing. Respect and communication. That and he makes me laugh every single day of my life. In every single way. day? Every <laughs> single day. In some ways, sometimes not on purpose. <laughs> he makes me laugh. No, you know what it is? I think we're a balance. We, we're very different personality-wise, but when it comes to the things that are important in a good partnership is we have the same values, morals, our family come first, the priorities. We're on the same page. We rarely differ when it comes to business or music. So if you don't argue a lot, that really makes makes it for a great, great life and very fast. You really don't argue a lot? People no. will find that hard to believe. We don't. Your love is making the other person happy. Yeah, that's true. As long as, you know, that's right. That's a secret. I mean, sometimes you, you don't do things if you think she's gonna get upset. And sometimes I do things that makes her happy. And I think that's been a secret. It was music that brought you together in the first place. It was. Right? They've been playing around town. They just played for the mayor. So we're all excited. Oh good, this guy's gonna come to give us pointers on how to do this thing. So he knocks on the door. We're at my friend's house. And they open the door and in comes this guy with a giant accordion around, you know, like, and in very short shorts, which made it look like he was naked because the accordion was covering the shorts. So I was sitting on the floor, and I remember looking up, and he has great legs. So that was the first thing I saw. It was very nice. <laughs> and then a couple months after that, my mom dragged me to a wedding. I walk in, and there's this band, and everybody's having a blast. It's all the, it, it felt like a scene out of a movie for me, especially because there was a guy playing Do the Hustle on the accordion. Hello. The guy with the legs. It was him. <laughs> I didn't recognize him until we kind of bumped into each other in a doorway. And I go, wait a minute, because I hadn't seen him with the band. Mm -hmm. I go, you're that guy. He goes, you're that girl. Then he asked me to sit in with the band that night, a couple songs. Then he asked me to join the band that night, but I said no. What was it about her? Why did you chase after her like that? You know, so the, the first night that I, I met her, I mean, I just saw her singing I said she has such a beautiful voice so I said why, why don't you come and sing with us in the band it will be something totally different because I love I love her, her her voice this is the best content in the whole world and dreams can come true and be and rewarded between the two of them they've won three Grammys and three Latin Grammys stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame induction into the Latin Songwriters Hall of Fame the Presidential Medal of Freedom and for Gloria a Kennedy Center honor you know, you said something once in an interview about the first time you met Gloria. This goes back to what you were sharing about her family. You said when you first met her that there was a lot of sadness yes. in her. Where, where did that come from? Well, we left Cuba, my mom and I. My dad took us out of Cuba because he was a police officer. So when the coup happened on New Year's Eve, he came home to my mom and he said, we're in trouble. The president just left the country. And she told him, don't go back. And he said, I have to go back. I'm a police officer. I, I can't abandon my post. So then he told my mom, I have to get you and Gloria out because this is going to get very ugly. So I was alone with my mom. And then my dad, because my dad then went to the Bay of Pigs invasion, he was a political prisoner for two years. So for those two years, I started playing guitar and singing. I sang since I talk. This was, it just came with me. So music was my catharsis. I would 
My mom would make me play for her friends and I would like stare at the floor because I, I don't like being the center of attention. But when I sang, people would cry and I'd say to my mom, why do you make me sing if people are gonna cry? You know? <laughs> and she goes, they're crying because you're moving them emotionally. It's not because they don't like what you're doing. You've now lived the majority of your lives yes. here. You were a child when you first came. You were a teenager, right? But you said we still have an immigrant mentality. Yes, we do. What does that mean? Um, he keeps the slippers that are in hotel rooms. <laughs> He's got a stack of them like this. I go, why are you taking You never know. Um, he still likes to buy on sale. We don't owe anything. So that kind of thing where you're always thinking, this could go away, this could go away. You have to Do be you safe, so? you have to be careful. You, you still think this could all go away? Of course I think it could, and it can. I, Everybody has to really realize that things can go away. You know something, I think in this country, people take things for granted. And one of the things that we do take for granted is freedom. I mean, we, we came to this country not looking for maybe a better opportunity, anything. we was looking for freedom. And you know something, keeping that safe is really keep your feet on, on the ground, saying, you know something, we're blessed. We've been blessed with our career. We've been blessed with our family. We have healthy kids. I mean, we're very happy people. And you know something, we are blessed and that we are alive and that we made our career and something that we love, that is music. What a great interview. You can see tributes to the couple tonight right here on PBS.